vendor vendor your question oh yeah so i was asking based on um technical analysis combined with the actual fundamentals on the particular stock so you know like uh on forex for you to use um some certain indicators you would know that okay because this is traded every day people are buying from that country or trading their dollars for euros or what's or not price action is quite more guaranteed in a close in a smaller time frame kind of thing but then in a stock it's quite different then how do you then uh determine movements based on technical analysis on a particular stock like a slow moving like maybe your mti and your discovery type of stocks and what kind of strategies or what kind of things do you look into to say no maybe i should do a buy in here hold it for so long because i know it will definitely move based on certain news or lack of news thereof kind of thing okay so um i, I would assume that the stocks you're talking about are uh, basically those low volume stocks meaning they're not very uh, they're not traded a lot and a very um, common example for most people would be um, purple group which doesn't have as much volumes as the other uh, big companies um, funny enough the low volume ones are there are quite uh, could be very easy to predict because their pattern is very uh, linear you know so like for example purple group we knew that every time it hits 80 cents it's going to jump back up and it did that for uh, a number of months so it's easy to make uh, bets on those because um, the people that are trading those stocks uh, the low volume of people that are trading those stocks have a general consensus of what the price of the stock should be and what um, you would be willing to pay for it so for example uh, if we use uh, purple group again as an example now where it's um, as you can see on the screen um, there's PPE there uh, let me just minimize this um, it's gonna be on the side here um, it's 127 um, and it's a low volume stock so you know that if it goes to 80 cents it's a definite buy because the consensus of the low volume of traders have reached 127 if it by some chance it goes to 80 cents you know the potential um, you will definitely buy into it so those ones are easy to predict the patterns are very simple and they're very easy to read so what if you have um, um, a, a another low volume stock that barely moves and a typical example um, I can think of is um, a Veng, I think uh, the one that's at three cents and two cents and it keeps that price for a very long period of time so there you can also tell the movements of the stocks how often does it actually jump up what is your return if it does go up one cent um, is it at a peak that will be very easy to tell i mean if a thing is at four cents and in the previous years it's only been around um, um, one cent two cents three cents and then four cents uh, then it's a peak and you can then um, make your buying decision based on um, your risk appetite whether you think it's a good time to buy in or not and yeah so the low volume stocks are very i think they're, they're much more easier to predict um, than uh, the high volume stocks that always uh, move uh, up and down um, i think the stock on the jse which is traded the most um, is um, what's this it's the big company uh, they just sold their shares in uh, Tencent. Um, Naspers. Naspers, yes. Naspers. Naspers. So they're like, their volumes are like ridiculous. And you can actually ch check these volumes on uh, MoneyWeb. Um, I forgot what you search. Uh, JSC. JSC results. So if you just search JSE uh, results and you go to... Um, the money web link um it gives you um the trades so you see here um okay uh, the guys on telegram actually won't be able to see my screen 
but there's a tab which says top 10 uh, value and volume. And day in, day out, Nespresso is always at the top. So it's always the highest uh, traded by volume. Um, so the ones that don't appear here, like the purple group, which will only appear if there's some sort of excitement, um, you can find them um, listed there. But this is only the top 10, and you can view all if you do want. But yeah, so your companies like Nespresso, which are heavily traded, um, they would move a lot more like your Forex because you don't know where it's going to go and um, the news will be a very good friend for you in terms of making an investment decision on them. But for the low volume stocks, you, you barely don't need the news. You can just buy in and um, chances of them um, making good money for you are higher than the um, high volume stocks depending on what your hold term is. Um, I hope I've broadly answered your question. Yes, pretty much. Thank you very much.